conceive, believe, achieve. Shut the f up. We talked about this a little bit a couple of weeks ago. Glover, uh, sorry, Adesanya, and then his nemesis, if you will, from the kickboxing world, Alex Pereira, making his UFC debut or signing with the UFC debut. Well, that's official. He is uh, signed with the UFC now. And Glover Teixeira, who apparently must be a teammate of him, came out and had some words to say about Adesanya that I'm assuming Adesanya will take quite strongly to. And I am looking forward to the response from the last style bender because, you know, is he... He's never short of something to say. He's very flash. He's very cocky, but he should be because he's fucking outstanding. Uh, but here's what Glover said. He said, basically alluded to the fact that Stylebender is shitting his pants. He said, Daddy is in the UFC now. Adesanya doesn't want to talk about it. This guy is just getting here, but he knows it's a tough one for him. No one gives Adesanya more trouble at 185. I'm not saying he's going to win. It's another fight, another time, another style. But Adesanya must be praying for the love of God. Put someone like Phil Davis for this guy. If he hits your right rib and the left rib hurts, Adesanya, he hits your right rib and the left rib hurts. Talking about his power. Adesanya is no man for him first of all he's coming in shit scared Pahara knocked him out with 10 ounce gloves on with four ounce gloves on his hands now and Adesanya doesn't have that kind of knockout power either he's fucking good don't get me wrong Adesanya is awesome but he doesn't hit like him Adesanya hits like a normal guy Poetan is not normal so oh I like dude. That's a that's a glowing endorsement from somebody who knows something about knockout power um you know, obviously his teammate, he's going to say that, but that's that's uh, that's some ballsy-ass shit right there. I mean, look, Adesanya, you know, obviously, you know, I, I don't know. What do you think, actually? What do you think? Do you think Adesanya wants to go and face this guy and show everyone that he can beat any man on the planet? Or do you think he's like, I hope this guy disappears. I here's, don't want to fight this guy again. Here's, and I'm not talking about Adesanya, talking about his mentality. You know what I yeah. mean? We don't jump on the phone and talk. I don't know his mentality. I don't know what he's like. What I do know of him is that he's very confident. He's very brash and he believes in himself. And I think he will probably believe in himself that he can beat him. Uh, shitting his pants? I doubt that concern or a little bit of a mm, you know raises an eyebrow when he hears that he's coming to the ufc and he's probably like fuck that motherfucker all right well guess what come and come and try it because this is a different sport arasanya's paid his dues you know he had a lot of fights before he became the champion and with all those training camps and the time he rounded out his skill set you know on the ground i still think he needs a lot of work to do but the takedown defense is generally being pretty good you know now Pereira's training with Glover Teixeira by the looks of it. I'm assuming they are. I didn't say that, but he seems to know a lot about him. He seems to know about how hard he hits in the ribs and stuff like that. Glover Teixeira, excuse me, I'm choking on my own saliva. <laughs> Glover Teixeira is uh, a great MMA mind. He's a great MMA fighter and he's got well-rounded skills. So the, the problem is, though, for, for Pereira, Alex Pereira, is that he's got to get to Arasanya. That's always the hard part. Again, I'm not knocking Connor, but when Connor went from 45 to 55, he went up against Eddie Alvarez straight away, right? Pereira is not going to come in and fight fucking out of sign straight away. He's got to go through a fucking murderer's role first before he gets to him. Now, I believe the UFC will want that to happen because that's a big fight. Yeah. You've got fucking marketing. You've got the video. You've got this guy knocking him out unconscious. You've got this guy flatlining him. That sells. That and is you have Adesanya who had cleared out 185 already. He's beat everyone at 185. That's what I'm saying as well. You know, he's yeah. beating everybody because he is that good. Um, so the UFC will want that, but they can't do that. So they're going to give him three fights probably. You think you that know, many? I think three. I think two or three two or three fights and then he'll fight adesanya and you never know it, it, let's see who they match him up with i i agree with you that the ufc is going to want that and that's why i just disagree with that they're going to put him through a murderer's row i don't i think that they will not that they're gonna there's no easy matchups it's the fucking ufc let's get real okay there's no such thing as truly an easy fight but they see the massive potential. The only guy to ever, or I'm sorry, the only guy uh, at 185 to beat uh, Adesanya. He's got the highlight reel knockout over him. Did he beat him once or he beat him twice? He, he beat him twice, once by decision, once by knockout. Yeah, I mean, dude, this guy is, on paper, he has Adesanya's number. What an amazing story. What a massive pay-per-view. 
uh, you know, if I could see them doing what they did with Anderson, because Anderson had so much hype coming into the UFC. You got to remember, dude, Anderson, mm. he was a right, like, pe people knew about Anderson Silva before he was in the UFC. This is back when, you know, UFC yeah, yeah, yeah. But Anderson was the fucking man. He was respected all over the world. In yeah, like every large. belt already. Yeah, he, he was the KGH champion. He was out in pride. He was kicking fucking ass out there. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so th th I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. But, it, but there was a little different. They put him against Lieben. He came in and he starched Lieben. I mean, it was a, di uh, I mean, what a perfect, beautiful performance. It, the whole fight was a highlight reel for Anderson Silva with him literally, literally hitting him with everything. And Chris Lieben just, you know, throwing everything at him and just couldn't touch him with anything. Then right away, Rich Franklin had that beautiful performance against Rich Franklin. Um, so I could, you, yes. you remember what uh, Lieben said going into that fight? Yeah, he's like, I'm going to show him what... Uh, I'm he, said, he said, oh, yeah, Anderson, he's been out there fighting easy competition <laughs> in Japan. I'm going to show him, show him the level out here in America. Didn't really work out for him. Shout out Chris Lieben, by the way. Great guy. Uh, I saw him recently. He's fucking jacked. He yeah. is big right now. He's on all the steroids. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, God bless him. God bless him. You know, but, uh, out the ass. When I saw him, I was like, holy shit. I touched him on his shoulders. I fucking... Fucking muscles on muscles on muscles. Who knows? Maybe he's just lifting and eating tons of protein, bro. But of course. I think he's got a little assistance there. But God bless him. No judgment. Um, so, yeah. It's but be yeah I, I could see them them sort of fast-tracking him to a, a fight with Israel Asanya, no, having nothing else to do with the fact that Israel has beaten everybody. And how many rematches can you give Izzy? Mm, no, totally agree. Yeah, all right. So uh, just quickly before we move on from Adesanya, because we've got lots to talk about. Of course, Dana White did come out this week and said he's targeting Israel Adesanya versus Robert Whittaker 2 in January 2022. And the bout will likely not take place in that part of the world because of obvious reasons. I mean, obviously, they want to do it in Australia. It's a massive market for him out there. I know it's huge. There's a massive MMA fan base. But Rebecca's Australian. She can't go. You know what I mean? She can't. You can't fly in and out. I don't really know what's. I just sort of peripherally like am noticing that shit's like really bad in Australia regarding COVID and the lockdowns. Like they are like really like locked down still, right? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if they're still. Hey, Rebecca, what what's the situation with your brother in Australia and lockdowns and all that stuff? They are taking it very very seriously, as is New Zealand. So anyway, the point that I'm making is Dana said they're probably not going to be able to do that. He said that's. That hey, come here with your brother, babe. Just open the door, darling, so I don't have to shout, sweetheart. She's talking to me through glass. I'm like, this, the door opens. What's the deal with your brother in Australia? Come here, come here. Um, what do you mean? Is it locked down still in Australia, or is it... Uh, um, say hi to Lewis again. Oh, hello, Lewis again. <laughs> Back again, round hello. two. Sorry, Alexander yeah. Rackage is here. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Sorry, <laughs> <I don't... laughs> Sorry, sorry. Uh, go on, what's the deal? Oh, we the believers want to know. I, what's though. the deal? I I don't actually know. Um, they, I don't think they're on lockdown. However, when they do get like um, one case, yeah, like half a dozen cases, even less, they do like full lockdown for a good week, um, and then like flights completely stopped for is is because her brother's a pilot for Qantas which is their big airline is he flying not really no no, no. not and, and certainly not internationally which is yeah. a shame but hopefully they'll start again soon all right. all right well thank you darling i am going to take that off you and then now you can get out and you can shut the door but thank you yeah we don't want to dwell on covid but still it relates to what we're talking about of there course. so they're going to do that over here yeah it's Harrison's. uh it's what well, I was going to say, do, so does Whitaker, does he go home and then fly out? How does that work with that? I know athletes get certain exemptions. There's people that are getting exemptions or does he, or does he have to stay in the States? Uh, I'm not sure. What, what do you mean? When he comes here? I'm saying, does he get to go back to New Zealand or does he have to stay in the States? Uh, when? After the fight? What are you talking no, about? No, ever. Like, do, 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 do Izzy and Whitaker go to New Zealand and Australia, or can they fly in or out? Because you're saying flights are, are downed. Oh, yeah. Well, no, you can fly in and out, just like Dan Hooker. Dan Hooker right now, I don't know if you've been following that situation. Obviously, there's, just, there's quarantines when you get back. Remember, that was why Whitaker said when he last fought, who did he just beat? Oh, Gastelum. When he just beat Gastelum, mm. they wanted him or Izzy wanted to fight him again pretty quick. And he's like, well, I can't do that. I'm going to fly back. I'm going to have to quarantine for 10 days or two weeks, whatever. I'm going to have hardly any training camp, plus I'm bust up, and then I'm going to have to fly back again. Mm. That ain't going to work. That's why with Dan Hooker, I don't know if you've been following that situation. Dan Hooker is a gangster. 
right? Because he's in New Zealand, which is uh, the, the COVID protocols that are very, very strict. And uh, he's been trying to get his visa to come over to America. And they've been, for whatever reason, being very, very slow with it, okay? Maybe the guy's got a little criminal record. We don't know. Anytime you hear visa issues, it's always because of that. I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming that. I apologize, Dan, if that's the case. Okay. Maybe Dan's never committed a crime in his life. Chris Lieben's never taken a steroid in his life. Everyone's yeah, 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 cool. Yeah. Exactly. No, you never know. I don't know. I'm just assuming that. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. Maybe he's just slow. But uh, he's been trying because he's fighting at the weekend. He's fighting on the fucking pay-per-view at the weekend and he needs mm. his visa. So he was publicly, he was doing a U and I've started doing a U sometimes as well. The company yeah, involves. Yeah, you start getting, tagging them on Twitter and when you've got a following or your followers mm. as well, they, they talk a little shit. So he was going right at the embassy saying, come on, I need this. Anyway, there was a post on yesterday. He's like, look at this. I've got it. I've got it. He's going to fly for, on Thursday from New Zealand. Thursday night in New Zealand, he's going to land Thursday night in America because of the time difference. He's going to land, he's going to make way on the Friday. Wait, he's going he, back in time? <laughs> well, no, they're so far ahead. When you fly back from Australia, you land at the, when you fly back here, you land at the time you took off. It's, 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 it's great. Uh, but he's gonna, Dan Hooker is a time traveler. He's a time traveler. Yes, he knows the future. No, he's going to fly here on Thursday, make way on the Friday, fight on the Saturday. Wow. And I'm telling you, that commands your respect as an mma fan as a former fighter who knows how tough and draining that process is and let's remember when you get on a plane you you uh there's water retention you bloat up your ankles get all fat and stuff like that that's a long flight from new zealand yeah yeah, yeah. well look dan, yeah dan hooker god bless him good for him he's a fucking gangster um i hope i you know what it is though can i tell you why he's doing it why is he doing it He's already gone to the future and saw that he wins in spectacular fashion. Because if he yes. went to the future and saw that he lost, he'd be like, fuck it. You know what? Yeah, he's I'm like, fuck this. this. I'm it's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but still, well done, Dan Hooker, for that. I mean, that is ballsy. I just hope he makes weight. You wanted to do plugs. Oh, yeah. Real quick, guys. You guys love the show. Go to our iTunes. Leave us a five-star rating, positive review. YouTube channel blowing up, as always. Go subscribe there. Hit the notification button. Uh, every time uh, a new episode drops, you guys get access to that instantly.